Hello students, welcome to Infinity IAS. Today we will look at a very important topic for prelims that is types of missile systems. Recently in news we have seen that India has accidentally fired a hypersonic cruise missile onto Pakistan. So this bit of news makes it all the more important that we understand the types of missile systems so that we can answer the question when it is asked in prelims. So here we see there is hypersonic and cruise missile. So this is the kind of missile that was accidentally fired by India. But to understand what is this hypersonic and what is this cruise missile, we need to look at the concepts behind different types of missile systems. So we'll start with ballistic missiles. What is a ballistic missile? A ballistic missile follows a ballistic trajectory to deliver one or more warheads on a predetermined target. So what are the important points here? It follows a ballistic trajectory to deliver one or more warheads and on a predetermined target. So ballistic trajectory, one or more warheads and a predetermined target. So a ballistic trajectory is when a missile is fired, it follows a trajectory like this. It goes up into the atmosphere and falls down. And then one or more warheads means it can carry more than one warhead that is after it enters the atmosphere again, it can break down into three or four pieces so that it can attack a bigger area. And here on a predetermined target, that means once the missile is fired, we cannot change the target. It is already determined when it is fired. So next comes at what is a ballistic trajectory. A ballistic trajectory is the path of an object that is launched but has no active propulsion during its actual flight. So here we have seen that a ballistic trajectory is something that falls like this. So when you throw an object into the air, it doesn't have any propulsion. For example, if you throw a ball, it will go exactly like this. So that is because the ball only has propulsion when it is launched into the air and not during its flight. A ballistic missile is similar to that. So it follows a ballistic trajectory. So these weapons are guided only during relatively brief periods of flight. That means only in the initial phase. Then we will see what determines the trajectory of the missile. It is determined by the initial velocity, effects of gravity, air resistance and motion of earth. With this in mind, we will see what are the types of ballistic missiles. Ballistic missiles types, they can be short range, medium range, intermediate range and intercontinental ballistic missile. The types of ballistic missiles are divided based on the range to which a ballistic missile can be fired. So short range ballistic missiles range between 300 kilometers and 1000 kilometers. For example, we have Prithvi missiles that are short range ballistic missiles. Then medium range is between 1000 kilometers to 3500 kilometers. We have Agni-1 missiles in this range. And then intermediate range or long range. Here we have Agni 2 and Agni 3 missiles. So what is the range? 3500 to 5500 kilometers. Then comes our ICBM. ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. This is the highest range and it will range over 5500 kilometers. This we have Agni 4 missiles that are being developed by India. So if we see all these four missile systems are developed as a part of integrated ballistic missile development program by India. 
So now that we have seen ballistic missiles, we will see what are cruise missiles and compare both of these types of missiles to understand how they both operate. Next comes cruise missiles. So cruise missile doesn't follow a ballistic trajectory like this. It can be guided missile. That means we see surface to surface missile or surface to air missile. So a cruise missile can be launched like this from the surface of the earth towards an aircraft or from an aircraft towards the earth like this. So this is the difference between the trajectory of a cruise missile and a ballistic missile. And then comes cruise missile fly the major portion of its flight path at a constant speed. Here we see ballistic missile goes like this to the top. This is the highest point on the trajectory and then it falls down. So ballistic missiles velocity will reach zero at this point before falling down onto the earth surface. But if we see cruise missile goes entire flight path at a constant speed. So how is that possible? Cruise missile will be guided throughout its flight path and it will be propelled throughout its flight. So it can maintain a constant speed throughout its flight path. Then comes cruise missiles remain in the atmosphere throughout its flight. Here we see ballistic missile, if it is a long range or intercontinental ballistic missile can even go out of the atmosphere. This is the atmosphere of earth. So it can go out of the atmosphere and then fall back into the atmosphere. But in case of cruise missiles, they always stay inside the atmosphere of the earth. And then cruise missiles are designed to deliver a large warhead over long distances with high precision. So here we need to understand a large warhead with high precision. Here we see ballistic missiles, there will be smaller warheads more than one warheads can be delivered over a large area. But cruise missiles can deliver one large warhead with very high precision. That means if the crew, we, we want to hit only one this small part of the earth in an enemy territory, we can use a cruise missile to exactly hit this spot. But if we use a ballistic missile, it will have a larger area of impact because the precision is low. So cruise missile can only hit this spot and not disturb the entire area. For example, we want to tactically strike a military facility in an enemy territory without disturbing the civilian territory outside that. So if we use cruise missile, we can only hit the small military facility without damaging any civilian territory outside. So, this is one advantage of cruise missile over ballistic missile. With this in mind, we will see what are the types of cruise missiles. Cruise missiles are hypersonic, supersonic or subsonic. As we have seen with ballistic missiles, ballistic missiles are classified based on the range of flight, that is the distance that it can travel. But cruise missiles are classified based on the speed at which they can travel. So hypersonic cruise missiles means it can travel at Mach 5, supersonic at Mach 2 to 3 and subsonic at Mach 0.8. So what is this Mach 5 or Mach 2? So it means if Mach 1 is the speed of sound. So if it is Mach 5, that means it can travel into 5 times the speed of sound. If it is 2 or 3, it means 2 into speed of sound. That is the speed of the missile. But subsonic is Mach 0.8. That means it travels lower than the speed of the sound. That is only 0.8 times into the speed of the sound. 
So, what are the hypersonic missiles that we know of? We have BrahMos 2 that is still in development. It is being jointly developed by India and Russia. Then, we have supersonic missiles. We have BrahMos missile that is a supersonic missile. It has already been developed jointly by India and Russia and it has also been deployed. So, this is the missile that was supposedly accidentally fired by India towards Pakistan. So, this is a supersonic cruise missile. Then comes subsonic missile. Nirbhai is a subsonic missile. This is indigenously developed cruise missile by India. So, now that we have seen different types of missile systems, we also need to learn about the missile defense systems. We will look into that in the next part of this video. Thank you.